I would like to talk to you about and share my thoughts about um, UFC 140. Uh, talking about my favorite fights. And like, I know it's a little bit late because it was like um, last month, but uh, I can't always get them when they come out because they're expensive. And I don't order as a fight. But when I seen Sigmund and Antonio Nogueira were going to go at it at first. So I knew I had to get it. At first I seen them and I think it was two, 2008 when they squared off. Um, it's when Frank Mayer knocked uh, Nogueira out. Um, it was disappointing. I thought it was going to go a lot longer. They both seemed out of shape back then. But this fight, Frank Mayer was definitely in shape. To no Gareth credit though, he, he almost had Frank Mayer because he was pretty well rocked. But then, I thought he was knocked out cold there for a second. But he recovered and... He was able to win, and he uh, dislocated uh, or broke Phil Garrett's arm, and I think there can be no dispute this time about Phil Garrett's health. He looked unhealthy, so you can't take this victory away from Frank Miller because he um, definitely pulled it off, and uh, I was quite, um, you know, glad for him because there was a, you know, controversy about whether, you know, Gary was 100% the first time they fought. So, he's, uh, Frank Mayer was the first to knock No Gary out and submit him. So, that's quite a, an accomplishment. So, and... I don't know about any of you, but I kind of think it's time for Mary Kiro Ortiz to retire. He squared off against Nogueira's brother. His twin brother. I didn't even know he had a twin. Learned something new every day. He, he looks um, in better shape than his older brother. And, uh, he, he, uh, he beat Ortiz, um, I think Ortiz had a great heyday, but I think his time has passed, and it was worth the $54 just for those two fights.